I'm sorry. Somebody just said 40-hour work week to me. We'll talk about lengthening work weeks. We'll talk about the way the threat of malware keeps growing. And we'll talk about why you shouldn't drink and interview. All on the Dice TV update for Friday, August 20th, 2010. You know that JetBlue flight attendant who took the escape chute out of his plane? Well, he's not the only one who's feeling a lot of pressure at work. Not long ago in Boston, a group of IBM users met to talk about what they titled the 40-hour work week. The consensus was that a 60-hour work week for IT workers is more the norm, as is interrupted vacations interrupted by phone calls and emails. At the same time, the Corporate Executive Board, which is a nonprofit researcher, said that IT employees are less willing to put in extra time ever since the recession began. That's interesting when you consider that IT workers tend to be a lot more dedicated to their technology than to a particular company. So all of those restructurings, corporate restructurings that happened during the recession may have created new opportunities for workers, but those workers aren't always getting to take advantage of them because they may not know about them. The bottom line is corporations need to be better at sharing opportunities with their IT workers. Otherwise, they're going to lose them to other companies and other opportunities. So what's that really mean for you? Well, the bottom line is companies want to keep you, they want to retain you, and so you might be able to do a better job at negotiating your next raise. McAfee's latest threat report shows hackers have been really busy in the first half of 2010, actually busier than they've ever been. More than 10 million new pieces of malware were found by security researchers, more than 6 million of those in the second quarter alone. The spike in the second quarter was because these bad guys were trying to take advantage of special events like the World Cup or even the BP oil spill to push the malware out. The most common attacks, especially in the second quarter, were on portable storage devices. And McAfee's conclusion is that security people have to be more proactive than reactive in identifying and taking care of threats. If you're having an interview over lunch or dinner, no drinks for you. Reuters says that a study that was recently done found that managers worry about cognitive impairment on the part of candidates who they see with a drink, even just a drink in their hand. So that's another good reason for you to clean up your Facebook page, by the way, to get all of those pictures of last month's keg party off. Another thing, if the manager who you're with orders a soft drink, That's a really big cue not to order an alcoholic beverage because they're really not going to like that. Bottom line is, don't do this. That's it for this week. Cat Miller will be back on Wednesday with another edition of Dice TV, and I'll be back on Friday. Until then, I'm Mark Pfeffer, the managing editor of Dice News, and we now return you to your regular desktop. To the user, Irony, who posted notes about my cubicle and the fact that I have XP. Okay, first of all, my cubicle is bigger than 4x4. Secondly, running XP wasn't my choice, but the tech team told me I wasn't cool enough to have a Macintosh.